Jeffrey Thomas. He joins me from Perth. Thank you for joining us on the program. Some good news there for Qantas, certainly, but many airlines around the world were already struggling even before the pandemic. We've seen thousands of planes grounded, mass layoffs. Do you think airlines will ever be able to recover from this? Look, I think eventually airlines will recover from this. It may previously, when we had a virus issue, uh, it was a hit to the industry that might have lasted three or four months. Now we're talking about a hit to the industry that will probably last three or four years before the growth that we had, had experienced before COVID-19 fully recovers. So, yes, there's going to be a number of airlines that will collapse unless they're supported by their governments. Or, the, the, or other parties. Um, but one of the ones that's going to fly through this very well is Qantas, because it's so well cashed up, and it says that it can uh, continue as is till the end of next year. Um, but uh, hopefully we won't have to go that far before business recovers. Yeah, certainly. Uh, Warren Buffett, though, essentially bailed on the industry when he sold all, off his entire holdings in the four major U.S. airlines. That sent airline shares plummeting on Monday. What does that signal to you about the state of the airline industry? Oh, look, it's it's certainly going to be tough going uh, for, for even longer than four years because at the end of the day, airlines have got to pay all these loans back. So the only way of doing that is to increase airfares uh, in the longer term. I mean, in the short term, I think you're going to get some amazing airfares to stimulate travel around the globe. That's what's happened in the past, and that's certainly what is going to happen now. But in the longer term, airlines are going to need to pay these loans back. Um, so airfares will have to creep up uh, higher than they have been um, to, to uh, repay this enormous debt that's being mounted. I mean, the US airlines have received a bailout from the uh, government of about $50 billion. Um, so that's a lot of money to, to repay. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll leave it there. And I know there are plenty of people who are anxious to get traveling again, uh, me included. Jeffrey Thomas, thank you so much Absolutely. for your time.